Hello and welcome to this Python 2 tutorial. What we're going to look at today is a module called Feed Parser. Really good module for getting RSS feeds from the internet. So to start off with, we just type in import feed parser. Press enter and that should work okay. If there's any errors, look for the video on how to install feed parser. Okay, so what we need to do now is create a list of all the feeds from a certain website. We use Reddit as it's the most common website I know of that's got RSS feeds and we'll do some searching for Python news stories. So we'll start off with a variable called my feed and that will equal feed parser dot parse and then we need to put in our URL. So this will be the Reddit website, so http www.reddit.com forward slash r forward slash python you can change python for a different keyword if you wish forward slash dot rss close your quote mark and close your brackets press enter so what that's going to do is go and get a list, uh, create a list called my feed of all of the news stories containing Python. So let's have a look at how many entries there are in that list. So let's just print len, so the length, open bracket, my feed, and then square bracket, quote mark, entries, quote mark, square bracket, circular bracket closed, press enter. And we've got 25 entries, so that's good. Let's have a look and what the first one is. So let's print my feed square bracket quote mark entries close your square brackets and let's look at entries zero so the first item in the list and let's have a look at the title it's actually a dictionary rather than a list, but hey ho. Let's press enter. And we got the title, look at what look what I got my wife to let me put on the bed. Hmm. Interesting story. That's the title from the story anyway. Very interesting. So let's have a look at what the link is for that one. So let's print my feed dot entries open square brackets so let's look at that first one and let's look at the link okay so there's the link so I'm curious to know what that is so I'm just going to quickly start up my web browser I'm going to paste that link in and let's have a look. Hopefully it's nothing too rude or I might have to stop the video. So this is the new story we found. And it turns out it's a Python pillow. That's actually quite cool. I want one of those. That's brilliant. Okay, so that was from the news story there. So what else can we have a look at from in here? We can always go through all of the posts and find all the links to the news stories. To do that, we'll do a for loop. So for post in my feed uh, dot entries colon 
print post dot title plus we'll do a little colon in between post dot link let's just make sure we get a new line at the end of that too so let's uh, sorry backslash n for a new line okay and let's press enter and it didn't like it the reason it didn't like it is because I didn't add a plus symbol in between so let's try that again for post in my feed dot entries colon print post dot title plus a colon plus post dot link plus slash n okay let's get that right there we go much better so what we've got there is a list printed out of all of the titles. So there's our first one again. So element zero and the link. And then we've got the next story. And you can see we've got a nice blank line in between each. So it separates them out, makes it a little bit easier for us to view. So as you go down, you can see all of the feeds that have come in, all those last 25 feeds that we picked up. So it's a really useful little tool. I mean, I would suggest going on to the Feed Parser website and having a look through their features and just testing it out as you go through. I mean, the basics here we've covered and had a look at, and this little loop here is quite useful. All you've got to remember is setting up the first few lines. So let's import our Feed Parser, then tell it where the feed is. And then from that, we're just printing out whichever entries we want or using the little for loop here to print out all the entries. And the best thing is with the URL, we can just copy that, paste it straight in to a website as we did here and find out what the actual news story is. So this has been a brief overview of the feed parser. Hopefully it's given you an idea of what it can do. We'll have a look at this in some advanced tutorials later on where we can save the links or just automatically open the links in our favorite browser for us. But hopefully for now, this has been useful. Thank you for watching.